Throughout the pandemic, many people have been keeping a watchful eye on COVID-19 numbers, in particular how many positive tests are coming back each day. But the not so fun nasal swab isn't the only way to track coronavirus in a community. For the past year, a UIC lab and its partners have been tracking the virus that causes COVID in wastewater. And joining us to explain how that all works and how the data is being used are Commissioner Kimberly Dubuclay of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. That's the agency that manages much of Cook County's waste and stormwater. Was an early partner in providing water samples to the UIC lab. And Rachel Peretsky, an associate professor of biological sciences at UIC who leads the wastewater surveillance effort. Thank you both for being here with us. Thank you for having me. All right. So for Professor Peretsky, I'll start with you first. Why is testing wastewater a useful way to monitor how COVID is spreading? Yeah, because, um, it, it, good question. It's because um, testing is limited. There is limited access to testing. Not everybody gets tested. Um, testing takes time. As many of us know, it takes, it could take two days to get results and um, not everybody has access to it. Um, the other thing is people don't get tested, may, maybe only get tested if they have symptoms um, and wastewater, you can capture the entire community, not necessarily um, people who are just symptomatic or just seeking out tests. And Commissioner Dubuclay, uh, what kind of data have public health officials been able to glean from these samples? Uh, well, first, thank you for having me, Paris. And I just want to take 10 seconds to tell you what the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District does and why this is important to us. We're an agency that was founded over 130 years ago, and we are tasked with making sure our fresh water supply stays safe by managing wastewater and stormwater and protecting our fresh water supply, which happens to be the Great Lakes or more specifically Lake Michigan. So when we are processing the wastewater, if we can identify pockets of where some of the virus is, is, is forming, um, if we can do our part in helping to end this pandemic. All right, uh, so Professor Peretsky, tell us exactly how this works. You take a sample of wastewater, I don't know, in, in a sewer and, and then uh, test to see for traces of COVID-19. How does it work? Exactly. So we, we've been partnering with MWRD since the start. MWRD has been a really early adapter of this since really March 2020 um, when the pandemic began here. Um, and so we get samples from the water reclamation facilities that MWRD manages around the city. Um, we also have a couple of sewer locations. We have some congregate living facilities. We're sampling at O'Hare Airport, a number of sites around the city. Um, so it de depends on the sample. Um, we either get wastewater or um, sewer samples and we bring it back to the lab and we look for the RNA, which is the genetic material of the virus that causes COVID. And we quantify that. So we get numbers of how much there is in the wastewater samples. And Commissioner, and if I could just yeah, go that, ahead, Commissioner. COVID-19 COVID is detectable in human waste several days prior to symptoms. So, you know, when that happens, if we can identify these, these outbreaks before people even have symptoms, it helps us to, to really isolate where some of these outbreaks may occur. Professor Peretsky, um, is there an example of, of you know, uh, an area where you were able to detect spread because you were, you know, looking at the wastewater? Yeah, I, I don't want to call out specific locations, but definitely we work directly with the public health agencies, IDPH and CDPH. Um, and when we see trends that there is an uptick in the, the number of cases, um, we notify IDPH and CDPH who, who will um, deploy various um, mitigation strategies, uh, try to ramp up test, um, testing, accessibility, vaccination, um, and so, yes, we the, the public health agencies are using this data and responding. And Commissioner Dubuclay, the, uh, what else do you monitor? I mean, obviously, you're monitoring the river, um, you know, as it's being cleaned up uh, from, from right. feces. Uh, so what else does MWRD monitor? So we monitor the, 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 the cleanliness of the river. Um, we test for fecal matter uh, with the partnership we have with an organization called H2 Now. Um, and as your viewers probably already know, um, with the reversal of the Chicago River going flowing away from Lake Michigan instead of into Lake Michigan, it helps when we have these CSO days from wastewater flowing directly into our lake. And Pref Professor Peretsky, you know, once COVID uh, dies down, hopefully soon, um, what other wh what other things can can your lab test for in partnership with MWRD like this? 
Yeah, we already have a, a partnership um, right now with MWRD where we're working on a pilot study um, with folks at the University of Florida, um, and we're we're looking for drug metabolites, opioids in wastewater. Um, but we have we can test any uh, lots of different um, viral, bacterial pathogens, antibiotic resistance, a lot of different things that are public health threats like um, influenza. Um, you know, wastewater-based epidemiology has been used historically for things from polio to uh, <laughs> to some of the things that we're looking at now. So um, hopefully this will be a useful program ongoing once we get over COVID. Commissioner, is this the kind of thing that MWRD wants to continue doing with uh, public health agencies or universities, the kind of thing it can, can continue doing beyond COVID? Oh, Yes, absolutely yes to both of those questions. And one of the things that we try and do as a public service to our residents of Cook County, to that earlier point, is to really let our residents know that they should not be flushing prescription medicines down the toilet because we cannot filter and clean those out. And so um, to Rachel's point, if they find that in our wastewater and you know, it could certainly end up back in our fresh water supply. And so it's really important to make sure that that public um, message gets out to our constituents. And to answer your question, yes, we do look forward to doing to having other partnerships with other agencies across the country. All right, wastewater, very useful for research on a number of fronts. And our thanks to Kimberly Dubuclay and Professor Rachel Paretsky. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you.